So anyway, I am sorry I had to go to the door really fast, but um, as you can see, Safari is looking at me, but I'm just having a great time watching her kitty, Sabrina, actually play with some of the toys that I had gotten Safari, um, just to kind of occupy her time. And Safari, here's my voice, so you see her coming close to the window here. I actually lifted the blinds so she could kind of see what I was doing. Um, and that's why I kind of do a peeky boo through the blinds because I like to not disturb them and just make it be as natural as possible for them. But this was just too good for me not to actually film her kitty. And Safari can barely not watch her. I'm going to focus over here where Safari moved. Okay, where are you? There you are. There's Safari. She kind of moved over here. She's, she's seeing me now. So she's looking right at me. And that's why... I, I kind of, I'm going to go back over here now and watch the kitty. I never ever open the blinds, but I had to record her kitten doing this. This is just so cute. These are, um, we decided to keep the calico. She, Safari discovered she was pregnant when I actually um, filmed a prior YouTube video with her. Um, you know, some mockingbirds were... <laughs> trying to uh, harass her actually because they had a nest up in my rubber tree and the rubber tree is right there okay moving it up all right there's a the rubber tree and that's where the nest is and they were about three big uh, mockingbirds and that was my original video and i had no idea as to upload it and i i gotten some uh, emails um from some of my friends and they were just asking you know where do they sleep at night well, we have several places that they go high they just do their own thing and they're very well protected um it's like a jungle out there in the front in my yard huh <laughs> and so anyway she had four kittens i discovered she was pregnant three of them we did get the last one adopted over the weekend we're going to keep the calico uh safari super bonded to her and now that um they're just so you know, bond it, we're, of course we're going to keep the low calico because they're just the smartest, um, you know, cats that I've ever um, come across. We've had one prior, Ron did, and, and uh, he, Simon was adorable. So, um, calico is a, it's not a breed, many people think it is, but um, I've done a lot of research since these two have entered our lives and we're always like just finding different things we could do to make it like it's an indoor cat so we the whole front area there is just kitty kitty cat fun and as you can see I introduced a new toy there and it's actually a scratch board and it can hang so like if the kitten was an indoor kitten um, you hang that on a door um, and inside of your home instead of them scratching on your furniture they go crazy over that and you wouldn't have to worry about that. So I've been doing a lot of research. Um, currently going to do a, a book actually. That should be out soon. It's going to take me time to finish it but it's going to be a children's book and it's going to be based on a lot of children probably don't know about um, undomesticated or feral cats and uh, how they could, as long as they could be outside and you could take care of them just like you would do an indoor kitten or cat. You got yourself a pet for life. Um, Sabrina does come now, like her mom, when I call her to eat, you know. Um, they both come, and they eat, and they have big fun. Safari's looking right at me, so I'm going to zero in on her. Hey, Safari. Hey, girl. Yeah, it's me. Me bugging. She's just so attached, you wouldn't believe it. And there she is, and she understands, and she sees me now. I opened the, she was over there with her kitten, but she, um, I opened the blind, because I just had to... She's looking at her kitten now. She wants to go over there and play with her so bad. Now, if I close the blinds, she will do that. I'm going to zero back in over on her kitten. But the fact that she sees me doing this, she's just like so bonded to me that she's kind of just watching me. So, um, Sabrina, Sabrina's having a good big time fun there. And uh, over the weekend, my husband and I captured some really fun video of them playing together. And, you know... Sabrina is a a kitten, so they like to play all the time. She was driving a Safari nuts, so I'm like, I wonder if I put that 
scratch that I had gotten Safari that she never even would come near. It's brand new. She never would come near to see. There they are together. How cute, right? So, um, anyway, so Sabrina is actually teaching Safari the mom how to have fun and, and lighten up and, you know, you don't have to worry about any predators. You're totally safe. And Safari's now um, laying on that blanket there. Or there are actually two rugs. And we caught them both in their little bed, in that little bedding last night. And Ron and I talked last night. We are deciding on um, cover area for them when the winter comes. So we have a couple months because it can actually start raining in September. And so we're working on that. And we're just enjoying them and having big fun. And now you um, see <laughs> them two together and it's just so cute because um, the birds don't bother Safari anymore. Um, my original video was cat versus bird. Safari won that battle and I won't go into detail as to what I mean about that. But let's just say the main bird that was bothering her is no longer bothering her. And uh, you can use your imagination on that one. And so I come to find out now, I didn't even know, um, Safari had two more kittens that she was hiding. Um, when we got the other two adopted, then these two showed up in the calico. So that gives me an answer as to why she was going nuts with those uh, birds. Because <laughs> birds are protecting theirs, she's protecting her too, and the story goes on. But um, the birds are still there, uh, one minus one. So you use your um, imagination with that. I'm going to keep this a fun little story. They are done for the moment and I'm going to sign off. This is Darcy Robinson. I'll keep you posted on Safari and Sabrina's Adventure. I am in the middle of a book right now and I'm just going to do a documentary on feral and undomesticated cats and how you can help them and uh, get your animal spayed and neutered. Um, so, uh, I think Sabrina's over there at, on the food area, and that's in the front of the home. So, I'm going to go now, and um, Safari's heading back over that way, and I, she's, now look at Safari, she's never, ever touched that thing. <laughs> it's brand new, and I brought it out there when she was, when we first found her. So, what I'm noticing is that they were teaching each other, you know, uh, Sabrina is good for teaching her the cat things. Okay, this is for cats. This is how this works. This is a cat nipper. This is a scratch pad, etc. And uh, Safari is teaching her. I see her teaching her kind of how to hunt and jump. And they're going up the tree the other day. And you know, when when Darcy or myself calls you, that means it's okay. She's she's a good person. You don't need to be afraid. So Sabrina comes now when I call her to eat, etc. I go out there to water and they both just look at me Sabrina doesn't move uh, where she was skittish and running off before so it's just a beautiful thing and uh, this is Darcy Robinson signing off and uh, we'll be back okay you guys take care bye have a good day